welcome back to Genfinad. We're looking for a werewolf. He is in a cage, presumably, since we have a werewolf cage key. Underground, somewhere, in this abandoned town. So, basically, what we need to do is look around for any trap doors or things of that nature. Here's some magical rune stones. That's not what we're looking for. Got some plague rats level 42, so hopefully it's not in there. That'd be disastrous. Here's a trapdoor. Use dead words key, and the door swings open. Hm, there you go. And now we're down here. Got a broken barrel shelf. Got Lupita. Not swallow a vein in a hood. And in here we've got Slay Cub. Sounds like a wet puppy. Hmm, great. Got some wooden barricade, broken crates. This this is this is a concerning location we found. We got pebble rubble. A cauldron with what looks like an eyeball in it. Always a good time. And a so, uh, how'd you get it? How did you get here? Didn't you just tell me you were too busy to check on the werewolf yourself? I am not Swella, she says in a deep voice, loud enough for the werewolf to hear. And I am most certainly not a vampire. My name is Lupita, and I am a friend to werewolves. Really? Because you look an awful lot like Swella Vane in a hood. <laughs> I recently found my friend Slay Cub here, trapped within a cage of stakes. His bonds are magic, and I have not the means to free him. How'd you get here before me? I just talked to you at the Strigasbat office, and may or may not have come straight here. Hmm. Besides the four days between episodes, yes. <laughs> is there a teleport I don't know about? I told you, Adventure. My name is Lupita, not Swalvane, and I am not capable of interdimensional travel or any other such thing. How'd you get inside? How'd, how'd you get down here if the door was locked? Just shuffles her feet awkwardly. I burrowed in. Yes, I burrowed in. You just said you found him. You're telling me you just happened to be digging a tunnel and stumbled onto a werewolf cage? Absolutely. Do you never dig tunnels just because? You should try it sometimes. It's super fun. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like, sounds like a great time. <laughs> Why am I here, then? What did you send me for? You can just get down here yourself. I do not know what you mean, Adventure. My name is not Swalavane, and I am not in love with Deadwood Circus Bat. It wasn't me who brought you here. Okay. What's with the disguise? The, the hood and the cape? This is my regular attire, Adventure. I wear it every day. Just not earlier today, then. What now? I'm supposed to report back to the werewolf, Slay Cub, I guess, is alive. Deadward and Swella need him for a marriage ritual. I'm guessing there's more to this task. Adventurer, would you see an innocent werewolf slain so a family of parasites can continue their leeching? Or you'll help me free him? I mean, I already accepted the quest. So, Swell Lupita beams. Nice. Then here's what we need to do. The shackles that hold Slay Cub can only be broken in one of two ways. The first requires the will of the Bond's creator, which obviously we don't have. The second is a potion that can dissolve the locks, but the potion needs Deadward's imprint to work. A lock of his hair, to be exact. Ooh, like Polyjuice Potion. <laughs> Deadward isn't going to just give you it though. He knows the magic of identity is too powerful to be handing out strands of hair. That means you'll have to search his office. So you want me to go back to Sugarspat's offices and rifle through an executive desk looking for hair. Good, we understand each other. And that's it. We need to make the potion, we need the hair. Go search the desk. Can do. <laughs> now that we actually know where this is, it's much less of a daunting task. 
to get between here and the offices. Although it still is a decent ways. We've got the fancy lift that we can use, though. Save us some time here. Always like getting shortcuts. Always a good time. Especially with the amount of walking around that we do. And speaking of walking around, might be able to find more of those little bloomy guys. Get some more stuff. Right, he is in the... That one's down below, so we can bounce around to get that. Go down this lift here. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how this functions. It's got a chain on this part. But if the chain starts pulling, the cage is going to just fall over and slide down. And then how do you get all the way up here? This must be the lift. All aboard. Eh. Doesn't kill us, so I'm going to count it as a win. <laughs> I will take it. In a literal sense, I, I literally just took the lift. We, we've done such things. Oh, this is a wonder bloom. Living inside this crate, huh? I wonder grants do get an image in your mind of an ocean beneath you of unknown depths. True. So that's just one of the wonders. So that's not going to respawn here. In theory, we should be seeing more of the other ones here. All right. So he's in there. Is this royal slime aggressive? Looks like no. We can go in and grab that. Oh, they are aggressive. Uh, I mean, we got food and everything. We could fight our way through the royal slimes to get that ardent bloom there. Charge! <laughs> we'll even get the combat experience here for fighting the slimes. They're level 11, we're level 10, so we'll get reasonable experience here. Our equipment is about as good as we can get. I, mean, I guess we could get high quality everything. This is fine. There's a random floating chain here. Nice. Yay. And we'll find another slime. Don't really need the blue slime or royal jelly. Not to worry about that. Which experience are we get in here? 55 and 18. Oh, that's not, not the direction I wanted to be walking. Well, let's have a low quality crisp rat heal up a little bit. Okay, very good. I am trying to save up that dew for the wonder finder thingy. Oh, that, that was standing right next to level 56 skeleton. Not gonna get that one. That's not happening. Level 11 slimes, okay. Level 56 skeleton, no. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, there's one. I'm going slightly out of my way for these still. It's just so, it's just so possibly rewarding. I can't say no. <laughs> they're, they're just so visible on the screen. Ardent bloom. Okay. So to make our way back to where we need to be, we just go basically straight south along this road. Should get us most of the way there. Assuming we can actually cross the river down here. But I think we can. That's the first thing we're trying here. Yep, we got a bridge. Low and rickety, but it works. Oh, you just disappeared. That's unfortunate. Right, we're going to avoid the poison crocodile there. That's not helpful. Little 23 guy. Got fancy ice shield. Plate bronze. Here's some more guys. That's behind an envious ghost. That's not gonna fly. 
up here. It's definitely easier to pick these up in safer locations. This one's got some plague rats somewhat nearby. Should be able to scoot in here and grab it. Ah! It's time to flee. Oh, he's right behind us. We gotta get out of his aggro range before we have to go around this bush or we are dead. <laughs> oh, we can go straight through the bush. Whew. Hi, Aurelia. How you doing? <laughs> I I'm surviving, <laughs> just barely. <laughs> I don't... I don't think the aggro range of the things have changed. We might have just gotten unlucky last time. Or not, I don't know. Either way. There's a white dime here. We found the ardent ones. This is... There's a ghost over there, but that's fine. Ardent blooms. Good. We got, oh, we went inside the cave. That's not a good choice. We got hobgoblins, plague rat. Yes, don't want to accidentally go inside any caves here. That's not gonna help. We got a mercenary over here. Chilling. Some good orbs over there. Used to be an adventurer like me. We found the pay structure. Iron Bloom. And there's another one in there, but there's also enemies near there, so not gonna worry about that one. There is enough of these, assuming you're actually wandering around more. And you don't really need to worry about getting into dangerous situations. There's a Wonder Bloom. Perfect. There seems to be a decent number of these. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wonderful. Visions of a desert with only sandy dunes. I don't think there's really any deserts yet. That could be something. All sorts of options. Inspect his desk. While he's standing right next to us. Next to an ink pot, beneath a stack of papers, he find a bedazzled journal. Alright, let's read this journal. Entry dated five months ago. Mother asks me to stay late again today. This is the fourth time this week. She still wants me to take over the company in 300 years. I know she only pushes me because she wants to make sure I can do it. She needs to know I'll be able to take care of things and I don't want to disappoint her. But she never asks what I want to do. I just want to make art and go dancing with my friends. Is that too much to ask of life? If only I had friends. The rest of the page is filled with doodles of vampires in the rain. Gotta start somewhere, I suppose. <laughs> Dated four months ago. Captured a werewolf today. I haven't found a wife yet, but a blood moon approaches. The ritual can only be performed then, so I need to be prepared. Mother needs to know I can take care of business. This is the best way to prove it to her. It's funny, though. The werewolf smells delicious. I understand now why we cover it, their blood. When I mentioned this to Mother, she said it's perfectly normal to want to eat them on the spot. She gave me a queer look about it. Perhaps she had never seen me so feral. But I can't eat him yet. I have to save him. Save him for the wedding. Well, was a pencil sketch of a drooling werewolf. Third entry. Two months ago. The more I see the werewolf, the more I find myself enjoying our time together. When we laugh, we'll forget about the world for a moment. He still smells delicious, but it's become difficult to imagine killing him. These emotions conflict me. But... About three things, I'm absolutely certain. First, I cannot be the one to kill Slay Cub. Second, there's a part of him, and I don't know how strong a part, that doesn't want to be free of me. And third, I do not want to be free of him either. Well, that took a turn. Below the entry are a series of messy glyphs. They shimmer slightly under the office lighting. Fourth entry, from yesterday. I've done it. I found a wife. Hurrah. Her name is Swella. She arrived in a blood vessel. We fell in love immediately, 
Just like the storybooks say. Mother seems pleased. Maybe when the ritual is done, she might finally let me plan the office holiday party. I wish I knew what to do about Slay Cub, though. Lately, going to see him has just been too painful. If only I knew why. Two strands of hair falling between the pages. Yoink. We've got locks of hair. We're gonna talk to him. Hi, how are you? So was my was my werewolf alive? Sorry, Daddy, I haven't looked yet. I'm on my way there now. The adventurer lies as naturally as he breathes. <laughs> Leaving. Hey, Swella, how you doing? I found the hair. I don't know what you're talking about. The hair, you, Ubida, whoever, asked me to find. I got it. I need you to go see if the werewolf's alive, adventurer. Please hurry. Alright. So, now we head back. Do -do 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 -do. Probably not going to find any more of the blooms on the way back, since it's going to be the same route that we took. I guess technically we'd take a different route. Maybe potentially valuable for us. Seems worthwhile to me. We'll give it a shot. Can we actually get down this way? Yes, we can. The amount of cliffs and ledges here makes traversal something you need to really consider. Let me just pop out over here. Perfect. Okay. We continue just looking on the map for things to happen. For the for the blooms that are not competitive, it's easy enough to find them. And those are like the daily ones too, so that yeah, should be fine. See what we can see here. Also, try to not die. That's also a big plus. Heading up this way. There's one. That might be down below slightly. Oh, it's a wonder bloom. Amazing. Just need to go slightly around here, so this is fine. I can work with that. <laughs> Wonderful. We see the weeping branches of a time worn tree. With the amount of these there are, it's gonna be very difficult to know you found them all. Hopefully the wonder counter actually has information about the ones that you have found and not just a number. Because saying that there's two more somewhere in the world is obviously not very helpful. <laughs> I guess we do have video evidence of every wonder bloom we found, so we could cross-reference that if we were so inclined. That is one benefit of doing series and all that. If I want to go back and look to see what happened, I literally can. It's very easy. Very convenient. Alright. We get up here past the mushrooms and the ghost crabs and all that business. Another person walking around. They're level 29. Right, we need to head into town here. <laughs> Ghost town, at least. That's fine. Alright. So we got the lock of hair. And it's bouncy. Okay. Great hair, I guess. Sure. Walk back down here. Trap door. Must have kept it unlocked since we don't have the key anymore. Very good. Back to Lupita. Did you find it? Are the rest of the potion ready? We just need the hair. You hand the hair. 
You hand her the greasy strands. So they're greasy and bouncy. Fascinating. Ah, fantastic. This shouldn't be more than a minute. Swell Lupita turns and sprinkles the hair into the bubbling cauldron. That's what this cauldron over here is for. Fantastic. After a few seconds, the liquid inside turns a bright shade of red. She ladles the potion into a clear vial and hands it to you. That's it. That should do it. Go take it to Slay Cub and watch the magic happen. Mysterious potion. The soul claims will free Slay Club from prison. Well, even if it's not gonna actually do that, we don't really have any other choices. Alright. Slay Club eyes the vial warily and holds out his shackled wrists. You pop the cork and pour the still warm potion over the cuffs. But nothing happens. Slay Club gives the chain a tug, still nothing. That doesn't seem right. It's only the potion on his fur disappears into his skin. Okay, that really doesn't seem right. What was this supposed to do again? Nobody just said it would free you from this mortal coil. <laughs> it's like having this to sway like a drunk puppy. I guess I mean, I mean, I guess I feel freer. Is that what she meant? Like, nothing can stop me? You could ask me anything and I have no reason to lie? Huh, okay. Well, <laughs> what's your biggest wish? For Deadward to kiss me on the mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Do you think he wants to kiss me too? I don't know, buddy. You'll have to ask him. Daddy smells like peppermint, and his hair is floppy like a bird. I like birds. I'll be right back. You made a truth potion. Good. What the hell was that? Nothing offensive, adventurer. Just a bit of truth serum. So, what has he told you? They've got an Enemies to lovers situation, or half of one at least. Slipita smiles deviously. Just as I thought. It's time I came clean about something, adventurer. My name is Swella, but I'm not here to marry Deadward. In fact, marrying him would be impossible for me. I'm not really here, you see. Shocker. You might say I'm a relative to Deadward's back from the grave. He unknowingly summoned me with his diary. I'm here to make sure he doesn't repeat the mistakes I made when I was alive. Like a ghost of Valentine's past. Something like that, yep. Yeah. I married someone I shouldn't have to appease our family. It was the greatest regret of my life. Deborah's on a path to doing the same. But now that you know his love has returned, I need your help with one last thing. Let's hear it. The werewolves have their own ritual for professing love. Once they found a mate they believe will accept them, a werewolf crafts an amulet, impressed with their scent, and presents it as a gift. If the mate accepts the amulet, the two are considered bonded. Have a werewolf and a vampire ever bonded before? Zola so appears misty-eyed. As far as I know, Slaycub and Deadward would be the first. Bring Slaycub an iron bar and a red marble, then we'll deliver the amulet to Deadward. Alright. So we need an iron bar and a red marble. Iron bar is obviously doable. We can literally just make that ourselves. Iron bar. And a red marble. That could be more difficult. Marbles, we've previously gotten as drops for some from some things. Most also, I need to look this up here. Red marble. Probably mean normal quality, since that's what all the quests seem to want us to get. Okay. Here we go. It is from... Mm, barbarians and... Blood beans. There's also something here on the quest page. Red frogs. In the dark forest, level 16. Yeah, they definitely drop 
Red marbles. Red, red frogs drop red marbles. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. In the middle of the dark forest. Level 16. I don't know if we are quite up to that. Red frog. 16. In the dark forest. Sixteen is a little bit out of hand here. I don't think we'd find any luck trying to range them either. But I think that's just going to need to wait until we do a little more combat training here. That's okay. We know what we need to do. All right. So, gonna be holding off on that for a little bit here. What else we got? We got Crafty Kingship and Tears of an Incarnation. The Crafty Kingship requires 24 tailoring to even start. I guess we go see if we can go start Tears of an Incarnation. That is way over north of Skull. Let's see about that. It's gonna be a long walk to get over there. I'm gonna get out of this area. We need to go basically all the way south. Okay. Just take the same path we did before. It's fine. Okay, this is Incarnation. There are the frost north of Skull. All right. No monsters right here, so I can just walk without having any real problems. It might be dangerous to get to this quest, though. There is a guy there again. I guess they kind of respawn and all that. Or different ones spawn in different locations. And down the lift. Very good. The purple dot, though. I think this was a wonder before. Maybe they can just spawn here again. Alright, it's a fervent one that's not inside the box. That's good, too. There we go. Okay. And also, while we're over in Skull, we can go look at the new tin and copper mine over there. So that'll be good. Let's see. Let's get out of out of the danger zone first. Be a good start. It's definitely more dangerous over here in Costin. Lots of high level stuff. All right. We're okay. We're doing okay. <laughs> Hardest part is going to be that very open field right between, right after the outpost gate area. Lots of stuff. It there. Right. We're gonna go behind these buildings to avoid the poison crocodile. They are level 38. That's not something we need in our lives. Typically, the paths are a more safe place to be, but not when there's a poison crocodile. Not when there's a poison crocodile. Oh, can't go that way. Past this witch in here, hopefully they can't get out. Level 40 ghost. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. It's funny because just see random dots. Let's go mess with it.
Hmm. I think this one might be impossible to get to. Oh, well, it's fine. Looks like we should be able to get to it, but I guess that lamp potion on a pole is not walkthroughable. That's okay. There's enough. Of, there's enough of these around. We don't need to worry too much about that. Over here, through Forboden. So up there on the cliffs, but that's all cliffs there. Can't really get up there. So we'll just head through town here. And now the dangerous part. Getting from here to the outpost. Got these horrible, deadly rabbits all over the shop. I don't need any of that in my life. Cross over here, looks like. Between the rabbits and the skeletons. Safe enough, I suppose. And it's no time for bloom hunting. Or this close to dangerous things. Like, see, there's, there's one over there, but that's not going to work. Let's just get through here. Through the door and back into relative safety. Delightful. All right. Let's see here. Um, going south is probably going to be the best bet. We'll pop over here to... I guess we can stop by the Bloom guy, see how we're doing in Bloom points and do and all that. It's like right over here. I think it was a hundred for the cool thing that we wanted. Fourteen rabbits. rug. Bring a rug to the beach instead of a towel. Go for it. Wonderbloom. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit to the north here. Fight that rabbit. We got this. Leeches. 20... We definitely need to train combat here at some point. That's for sure. Here he is, right here. Trade with Sage the Sage. Smells of Sage, is a Sage. Doing Sage things. We have... Or I guess they... They cost... I mean, these cost 22. And there's seven in stock. Restocks weekly. Okay, so I have, I have no idea how much do I have. Well, that's not ideal. Oh. Here it is. Do button. Total do 89. 5 out of 5 ardent and 1 out of 30 fervent. So that's the do button. Okay, there we go. So we have 89. We need 100 for the wonder tracker. Alright. Look at that frog over there. Wild. So, find a few more of these on our ventures here. We should be able to pick that up the next time we're in the area. And that is a decent amount. We should definitely be able to buy those potions at a good rate. We already have 89. And it was only like 22 per each. Yeah, that's not bad. Really depends on what the actual stats of that potion are. How long it lasts and all that. Would definitely want to get my dues worth if we go that route. Alright. So, path 
pass over here. From coin to plenty. Maybe just head out of the south exit here. Alright. Very good. Keep our eyes out for more blooms around. We get a few more dew. All kind of good stuff. I think the the wonder blooms are going to be a good supply, but then also there's only going to be so many of them. We will see how that works out for us. This button still does nothing. Still no blessings. over this way and go over to the golden brick road this pass to skull might be a problem Let's see if we can squeeze through here that's one of my main concerns with getting up here we will see we will see all right just heading west The Golden Brick Road, or the Golden Path. Yellow Brick Path. Amazing. Not the Golden Brick Road, the Yellow Brick Path. Fantastic. Alright. There's one. Also possibly an enemy right next to it. There's another one. There's another one. Perfect Bloom. Swamp Spider. Alright. Let me pop over here. That's a Wonder Bloom. Grab that. Should definitely start noting down which Wonder Blooms we found. Would be a good idea. Back on the path here. 95. Getting close. Getting close. Technically, you probably don't need to buy the Wonder Bloom counter. But why not? Here, we get to this town. Village here. Somebody walking. There's a bloom over here. Another wonder bloom. The wonder is why you would stand so close to a leopard. There's the Tin Man. That, that's gonna be for. That's gonna be for quest. Hey, do the do. Earn a hundred do. Fantastic. Achievements. Those are also a thing. We've got in some of these. Craft 5,000 arrows. We need to extract ores. Use cards. Spend 10,000 gold. Gain 5,000 gold. Find a ruby, mine a coal. Mine a million ores. Chop down 10,000 trees. Chop down a million trees. <laughs> oh, there's a craft high quality specific thing achievements. Oh, that's devastating. Low quality bronze chain. 10 high quality steel. 25 bosses. Find all the wonder blooms. Find all the view blooms in a given week. Dish. The chicken potato dish is only available in the tutorial. Pick a million plants. That, that is definitely an achievement, isn't it? Yeah. Go, go, go pick a million plants. 
hilarious. But with the amount of experience required for higher levels here, that is entirely within possibility. You would pick a million plants. Chop a million trees. Okay. Got some cool cats here. Scuba. Do about meow. Cool cats. Scuba. Scuba. <laughs> Shrooms. So I'm gonna be fighting the shrooms. That could be helpful. Never know what's aggressive. Really not looking to confirm. All sorts of people fighting stuff out here. They're fighting the ice elementals over there. They got like full steel. There's somebody over there fighting Shellstalker gremlins. My goodness. Very combative. All over this place. All, all over all the places, really. Yeah. Helps keep their numbers down while I'm trying to walk through, so I will take it. I am perfectly fine with that plan. Alright. And here is Skull. With the Runvolk. Over here we got the Mine. How are we looking? What kind of situation we got here? Right, tin and copper. Still gonna have to walk around, which is unfortunate. That's probably still fine. Acceptable. More locations that you can actually do some stuff. That's good. Now we want to try to get north of town here. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can give it a shot. Previously there was a whole fence here. I think that might actually be gone. Let's see if we can worm our way through the snowy landscape up here. Does. Those are probably not aggressive. Hopefully. Maybe. Baby Ice Elementals, level 15. Okay. Level 17 Wolves, those are definitely aggressive. Walk around this way. Some orange foxes. Alright. Yeah, we get up to this section. I'm having a hard time getting up here. Can't really go that way. I'm trying to go further this way, get around the foxes. They're only level 16, so we would probably maybe survive. But with the three hits system, anything that can hit a five can kill us without us being able to do anything. So, don't really want to deal with that. There's some blooms though. I'll we'll grab those. Another Wonder Bloom. Fantastic. There's another Wonder Bloom. And a Fervent Bloom is below it. Wow. Interest. I'm getting all sorts of stuff here. There's some fennec foxes. Okay. But the fervents are purple. Yeah, just some level some level nine enemies. That I can manage. That I can deal with. Wonder Bloom here, looking over off the mountain. Very good. You know, all kinds of do here. I do enjoy that. All right. Let's see 
if we can safely make our way up this way. Where are these enemies? Oh, those are, those are the ice elementals. There's some wolves there. Hmm. Seventeen wolf. What else we got at the top here? Eh. Might be doable. Just gonna go for it. There's the quest guy there. The wolf's attacking. Oh, he's got a lot of health. My goodness. I guess it's probably just a limitation of the bar there. Alright. Oh, the ice elements are also aggressive. Great. Oh, let's, go in, let's go inside the cave here. That might be where we need to go. That's taking a lot of damage. We got that going for us. Alright, here is... Let's just stay... This is not a good spot to go. Let's go up around this way. We're we're surviving okay against the wolves so far, so. Hopefully that continues to be the case. Run away! Alright. So it's more of a spiraling path to get up here, it seems. We're kinda going around this way. That gets us up higher again, so I think that's helpful. I guess we can also go that way past the ice guys. That's another option. Alright, here we go. We've got Iod of the Frost. Really? An entrance into a glacier. Also cool. The cold doesn't bother her. And apparently neither do the ice elementals and wolves. Since here we are. Okay. So as it currently stands, this is the last quest that we can start. Because we can't start this one. That's that's a good place to be. N knowing what all the requirements for everything is going to be. So we will get stuck into this quest here. Tears of an Incarnation. Next time. Goodbye.